In today's session, we will take a look at what is simple logistics, how is it different from the old logistics, what has changed, what does the new system look like, and how does the new system interact with Fiori apps, which is the user interface for simple logistics. A bit of a background first. SAP Simple Logistics is a core component of the S4 HANA Enterprise Management Solution. S4 HANA is a brand new product line and is not a legal successor of any SAP Business Suite product or SAP ERP. S4 HANA Enterprise Management has been built by simplifying the SAP ERP solution and reintegrating and simplifying portions of the SAP Business Suite products like SAP SRM, CRM and SCM into this core. This core S4 HANA Enterprise Management is available on-premise as well as in the cloud. And the core can be extended by integrating it with other SAP solutions like SAP Hybris, SuccessFactors, Ariba, etc. A large part of Simple Logistics, which is an integral part of S4 HANA Enterprise Management, has been taken from the SAP ERP solution. However, there are a few critical changes as part of Simple Logistics. So let us now look at what those key changes are. The key changes are in three main areas. Several data models have been changed and simplified. So where you had uh, 15 to 20 tables, you now have two or three. The user interface has been completely changed to Fiori apps. And finally, there are key functionality enhancements. So let's take a quick look at each of these three key change areas. One of the key data models that has changed is the inventory data model. So this is what the classical ERP inventory data model looks like. And this has now been greatly simplified to the S4 HANA data model. Some of the key features of this new data model is that there is only one document table for all material documents. The header and item levels have been merged, avoiding joins. This enables uh, on-the-fly aggregation in S4 HANA and allows semantically corrected material master data table. Also, all the 24 aggregate fields and history tables have been dropped and there is no update required on the aggregation tables. This allows high speed evaluations and allows for new stock types to be easily introduced. However, to ensure compatibility with legacy code, these aggregate tables are not physically deleted. Let us now take a quick look at the S4 HANA logistics system. So you have the standard logon. This has not changed. And you enter your user ID and password as usual. So this is what the system looks like. You have the similar menu path that you've always had in SAP ERP solution. And you can see here that this is a S4 HANA system. We can also look at a few other system properties by going to system status. So this is where you see that the database system is a HANA database. And you can go into some details for the product version. You have the basis components, the ABAP components, and the most important is this S4 HANA core component. 
this tells you what support package you're on and what are the different components that are installed on your S4 HANA system. Let us now look at some of the tables in the inventory management new model. You can go to SE11 or SE16. So one of our key new tables is the mat doc table and you can see that in this demo system there are various values populated. But if we go to one of our earlier tables that is no longer used. So let's look at an inventory table for different stock types MKOL and I try to find the values and there is none. There are no table entries in this. However, the table still exists to make sure that there is compatibility with the legacy code. Another key data model that has changed drastically is the data model for material valuation. So this complex business suite model has now been replaced by this simplified logistics model of S4 HANA. So you have only four tables remaining and there are no redundancies. There is clear separation of master data from transactional data. Over here you have simple processes. There is only one valuation method which is the material ledger and you have throughput increase. The insert is only on database level and there are no locks for standard price valuation. Now we take a look at the enhanced functionality that S4 HANA Simple Logistics offer. The first example is the order fulfillment cockpit. This is mainly intended for the internal sales rep and provides a comprehensive view to the overall order situation and exception handling. This results in a reduction in the order to cash cycle, reduces outstanding pavements, and increases the service level. The next key area for enhanced functionality is the MRP area. You have a new mode for the MRP run. This enables automatic determination and selection of planning mode per material dependent on functional requirements of the material regarding planning. This can also be overruled manually. The functionality of this new mode is planned to be enhanced continuously and more and more features will be added as time goes by. Special functionality will remain in the classic mode and existing customer enhancements will also be supported in the classic mode. There are several other key enhancements in simple logistics. Some examples are here. The first one is that the material number length has now increased to 40 characters from the current 18. Product version is now mandatory and customers and suppliers are now modeled as business partner. Business partner or BP is the single point of entry to create, edit and display master data for business partners, customers and vendors. So let us now go back into the system and see some of the enhancements and how they actually work. So first we'll try to create a new material with 40 characters. So we need to go to material master, create immediately. And here we've set up a material with 40 characters, chemical industry, and this should be finished goods. So first finished product. And now I just enter, I simply want to create my basic data view. And here I'm able to create a material with 40 characters. 
there'll be some mandatory fields that I need to fill in and my material is created now I can go back to the material and make any changes that I wish to so this was not possible in the classic ERP system and this is one of the enhancements offered by SAP S4 HANA next we will take a look at some transactions that are no longer available in S4 HANA so let's take a look at MB one C and you get the message that this transaction is now obsolete and you can get some further information asking you to look at this note for what to do in case you still need to access this transaction now let's look at MK03 transaction which is a standard transaction to display 03 means display a vendor master record now as we saw earlier all master data vendor or customer is managed via the BP transaction and MK03 is now obsolete so if I try to display a vendor using MK03 I should get a pop-up redirecting to transaction BP and here is some help around that there is a whole big list of other logistics enhancements and all of these are contained in what is called the simplification list this list is a collection of single simplification items a simplification item can have a business impact and a technical impact for example if the data structure was simplified related custom code must be adapted in other cases a functionality is replaced by a new and simpler successor application possibly even based on unchanged data structures this simplification list is provided by SAP and is continuously updated you can obtain the latest copy from help.sap.com so this is what the simplification list looks like it's quite a large document and it goes in detail of all the simplifications that the latest S4 HANA release offers you can search for this so for example if I want to search for SD pricing data model changes and this gives me all the details and finally we have the user interface for S4 HANA and the long-term goal of SAP's user experience strategy is to use Fiori apps as the front-end on S4 HANA so we won't be going into too much details on Fiori in this session but we'll just have a quick look at how the S4 HANA system actually works with the Fiori apps so we have the Fiori logon here and I need to enter my user and password and now I log on to Fiori apps uh, this set of Fiori apps is connected to the backend S4 HANA system a whole lot of apps have been pre-configured in this demo system and I can even search for the area that I need so I searched for sales and the system brought me all the apps that are relevant to uh, sales so if I click a display a sales order I can see that uh, the system will display the information requested based on the criteria just like a standard GUI 
So let's have a quick look at display sales order in the standard GUI. So I go back to my standard GUI. I need to go to sales and distribution, display a sales order. So under logistics, sales and distribution, sales, order, display, or you can just directly use VA03 transaction. So this is what my display sales order screen looks like in the standard GUI and this is what it looks like in the Fury apps. So you can see that essentially Fury apps is a way of making the user experience for the end users much better than on SAP GUI screens. So let me now try a search and see whether I get the same result. So I enter this specific sold to party. I get two entries. I choose the first one and I get this order number 105 in my SAP GUI. Now I go back to my Fury app and do the same sold to party. And it says that I've got multiple selection criteria with finally two entries just like I had in my SAP GUI and I double click on the first one and I get my standard order 105. So essentially from the same database these are two different ways two different user interfaces to display the same set of data. We hope you enjoyed this session. See you again soon.